June 6th, 1966. A senator's wife had a child. Six years later, everyone around the boy started to die mysteriously. A detective was called to investigate the incidents. Slowly but surely, the curious case started to consume him. The deaths were surrounded with the paranormal and entangled with the supernatural. All the man could come up with was Senator Charles Wagner as the prime suspect, and only after witnessing him shooting his wife with a nail gun. In the end, the only thing he pulled out from that burning daunting manner was the child. My name is Detective McGuffin, and I was the guy sent to investigate them. The boy's name is Lucius. Detective McGuffin. I, I still... Detective McGuffin. That's like police chief plot device. Like, ha uh, I, Look at this. Does this not look like a horror game? I, I attempted to play this before. Didn't get far because my, my PC was like, nope, nope, close the game. Close, I don't like it, close it. And judging by this screen, I assume it's a horror game. Look at this shit. So can I load from the tutorial again? I cannot because I have no save games. Well. Does it start me from the tutorial? I hope so. Because I don't want to. Because there was a long list of tutorial. Okay, yeah, it starts me over. Alright. Look at this. I'm fairly certain at the end of the first game, I did Father Proud. Why am I in hell? Are you not pleased with me, Papa? Also, I need to double check, but I'm pretty sure they got a new guy to voice Satan. Which I don't like, because Satan's voice in the, in the last game was cool. He was just a dude. This one sounds... It sounds like it's intentionally, comedically evil. I don't get the slow dramatic build up, like I get it, I'm in hell. Look at that list of tutorials on the side, all of that is shit I need to learn. Jesus. Alright, so items for you. Yep. It's easy to pick them up. So we've got pills, pick up and consume ball. Lethal when oh, overdosed. That's very good. So you hear that? You hear you hear that comedic voice? That comedic Satan oh, voice? Very good. Combine the pills with the donuts, you get donut pills. There's a whole mechanics that were not in the previous game, I've noticed. Like this ghost ship sh bullshit right here. You can hook someone in the head. That's messed up. Pick up a can. M2, which I had to figure out was mouse button 2. Because PC games are weird. You can break up items, so pick up pliers. Break a box with them. We get a can. We smash fragile items. I'm just going through the parts I've already done quickly. All right. Also, I don't remember. I don't remember Lucius having Jedi powers like this in the first game. I'm pretty sure when he held an item, he just held an item. Anyway, gotta use this. Fill it up with water. No. PC controls are not my forte. I'm going to keep pressing F and we're well, going to keep pressing D if I'm hitting F, but anyway. So. No, that's not what I want. Pick you back up. Pull. I didn't hit. 
queue. So there's no there's no diagonal wall. Okay. Anyway, water. There we are. Humans will die if electrocuted, and flammable objects will burst into flames. Really? You don't say, mate. So what did that say? Enter the devil's son. What? What did that say? So there's life pickups. Experience will let you level up. All right. Wait. Pick up the level. Oh, that. This is a level up. Six, six, six. Load of shit right here. See for skills. I don't remember this being in the last game. I don't remember all of this. So what we got? Mind control. Ten mana. You use mana. Okay. Use objects. Controlled human picks up targeted objects. Break objects. Throw objects. Attack other people. Isn't that what I have already? Use from distance, alright. Invisibility. Push. Pull. Break. You'll fire. Cremate. That seems good. Uh, blind. Flame on. I. Uh, that I guess. New skills of one. Uh, yeah, I am losing mana. All right, I'm not, but okay, I believe you. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, I'll take that's a, that's a fine spell. That's a fine spell. I'll take it. Blue lifelines are mana pickups. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a very useful map. That is an unbelievably useful map, that is. I can't, I can't describe how useful that map is. Oh, hello. Jack the Tutorial Ross. Okay. Some items are also tagged compelling, which means enemies will be interested in them up. So try for the donuts. Suspicion, panic. Okay, he's strong minded, so I can't mind control him. Alright. Gotta poison the donuts and give them to Jack. Hey, Jack, it, it literally is just pills in a donut. That is the most lazy thing ever. There you go, Jack, have fun. What the hell? Murder! Murder! And that's a tutorial, okay. This is... This is going to be interesting compared to the first game. The whole house burned down to the ground, and we couldn't save them all. I managed to get the boy out, and at that time I was convinced it was his father Charles who was behind the murders. In these situations, the procedure was to take the boy to psychiatric evaluation, so I headed to St. Benedict's Hospital, the very same hospital he was born in. It was only fitting to visit it once more. He was sitting quietly in the back seat, staring at me through the mirror. When we arrived just before the nurses came to get him, he leaned forward and whispered something into my ear. 
The hair on the back of my neck stood up as I was overwhelmed with emotion. This looks so weird. The whispers kept running through my head. But this was no ordinary kid at all. As I returned to my apartment, I started to put the pieces together. This is a strange way to do things compared to the first game when I was actually cutscenes. pointing at the boy. How could I not see this before? Was Charles right all along? Was I actually helping the devil's son? Probably. Yes. You finally understand what? your place in all this. What? You're him, aren't you? What? Come now. You have been able to sense it all along. What is this? Deep inside you, there's been something telling you to do the right thing. But I'm... I'm Catholic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks so rapey. So I, we are all just part of his plans. My job is to make things slightly more interesting. And me, I'm also just a part of the plans. <laughs> you have done what you are supposed to do. You are going to do a lot. <laughs> Why does he look like that? We're only getting started here. And look at it this way. You are just serving the Lord in the end. He is the one who actually devised the upcoming rapture. I'm just putting my little twist on the whole thing. We are all just fulfilling his wishes here. So, just relax and listen to what I have come up with for the boy now. <laughs> I was conflicted. But eventually I had to give in. All along I've been a servant to the cause. Oh my god! I meant to travel this world as a It ain't gonna suck itself, bitch! And to protect his son. <laughs> Lucifer had a plan to bring everything together. And it was my job. To see after riches. <laughs> He'll have to look for the answers to this little game that's been created for him. The Dark Lord has taken his powers away and leveled the playing field. It will not be an easy task for the boy, but it's all necessary sacrifice that will, in the end, pan out the way it was supposed to. They evaluated the boy and committed him. He had lost his abilities to influence anyone. Thoughts of abandonment were filling his head. His thirst for blood was gone along with the rewards he'd already been given. It took six months until the boy was woken again. No blood was spilled. Someone up there was happy. <laughs> finally happened what? To what? Two <laughs> they were both rambling about a prophecy. To make things more interesting, the other one was a woman of the cloth. Immediately, Lucius realized that there was more that he had to do, so, in the blink of an eye, he attacked them. There was a fire inside him again. He was not for sale. He felt useful again. However, the employees managed to put him down. He was drugged, dragged to shock therapy. The boy had gathered a following throughout the hospital. Some of the patients naturally looked after the boy, but not these employees. They shackled him, imprisoned the prince. They laid him down on the bed ready to be shocked. But what they did not know, and what they could not guess, is the answer to a question. What happens when you shock the devil's son? Oh, Jesus. What, what is that? What was that? That's a hand. Okay, there's a head. More of the story, don't shop the devil's son apparently. And also give the devil a blowjob when need be. It's alright if you're Catholic so long as you give so long as you give the devil a good blow jibber. Like what oh god, look at the viscera. I like that. I like that outline. Oh god. Oh god, this is nasty. Look at the Jesus. Why 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 is why is he wobbling? Why is he why are you wobbling? Lucius, why are you wobbling like that? 
Oh, that's what. Oh. Oh, that's that's a that's a bad time. You had a bad time, sir. Okay, well, well, we're just gonna gonna take gonna take that. Uh. Okay, I have the uh dead body electrocuted electrified employee. Looks like he's still holding on to some keys. Okay, that works. I I got I got keys now. What is that red line? What what is? It's pointing through the door, so I assume it's my objective thing. Nope, I put them away. What the hell are you? So why are, why is there a devil bobblehead just just in you know I'm gonna close this door so no one sees. But why is there a devil bobblehead just Okay, I got five XP for that. All right. Well, that's a thing that exists. That's locked. So locked. Locked. Oh, hello. What? Why are they making an achievement for standing in next to the cross? What is? Okay, I got an achievement for disabling a religious item, even though I haven't. I'm just too far. Nope, I can't. Alright. Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. Can I throw the key? I cannot throw the keys. Can I... Ha I kept that from the tutorial. Okay. Alright, give me... Give me them peels. And we're just gonna... Boom, baby. Yeah. Nope. Uh, PC controls, I am not, I am not fond. Okay, I know what I'm meant to do. Poison the coffee, electrocute the faucet, or break the ceiling fan. Okay, I have questions. Did I, did, are you actually just gonna let me go? Are you actually just gonna? That's actually how this is going. Okay, well, let's just. Okay, now we're just gonna sit and wait. Gonna sit and wait, boy. Or not? Huh? Well, alright. I'm gonna just walk out the room. Because you're apparently an idiot. I This is This is a game that exists. Jesus. Okay. I'm just going to keep walking. What the hell is that? Okay, some sort of film. What is... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let's, let's just, let's... No, let's walk away from that. The boy managed to break the shackles. Blood was spilled. And he could feel 
how the souls were powering them. Okay, open the doors. Men's ward, children's ward, women's ward, isolation ward. The first thing he did after breaking out was to open up all the other wings of the mental ward. This would allow Lucius to freely roam around, wreaking havoc. Fuck, okay, you, you scared me, you bastard. Oh god, my heart went. The end is not coming. It's already here, boy. <laughs> yes. And then have the keys. Devil boy. Ludlow, devil boy. No, Lucius, not Ludlow. So I guess the I have to find I guess I have to find the guy with the keys. What is wallet? I mean, I'll take it. I'll just pick it all up. Why not? What the? Okay, I can drag that. Um. Hey, buddy, come here for a second. Well, well, who do we have here? <laughs> no, okay. I was hoping you'd slip and die or something. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep walking. We're just gonna keep walking. We are. I'm just gonna keep going. Look, looking for a guy that has like the right keys, and that guy. Did that guy just disappear? Can you fuck off? So where are the... Where are the keys that I'm looking for? I'll pick them up, but... Yeah... Break you! Don't know what that did for me. So I just have to find the one guard that has my keys. I've already been here. Been there. What's that gold right there? Oh, it's also... Alright, there's three levels up in the corner, and there's one over there in the toilet. Two, six, seven, nine. What do I have? No. Alright, what is. Oh, hang on. Okay. Well, there's a level up just down here. Yeah. I may, may as may as well get that. I guess I don't. I don't see why not. I just realised that there's a mission log. I can't see what button I have to press because my recording's in front of it. Press some. Press some. <laughs> Okay, no, yeah, this is a horror game. I don't care. I don't care. This is a horror game. Fuck that. Okay, I'll take it. 
don't know how I meant to kill you with it. Okay, game. Game. Oh, you're going to let me do this, aren't you? Oh, game, you're going to let me do this, aren't you? I'm taking you Are you? The hell? Come here, buddy. Come here. I'm right here. Now, come on. Come on, friend. No? Okay, well. You have to get him to walk in a straight line first, and that seems to be an impossibility. There we go. Now, come here. Come here. In a straight line, if you please. Are you ready? I mean Alright I might just pick you back up That was a terrible throw, Lucius. How do I throw that back up? I don't know. Just hit him with it. I, I don't know. Can I get donuts? Where would I find donuts? What in the world? Now you're in trouble, son. Where would I get donuts from? Cans. I'm not, I'm not in the stricture zone. You can bugger off now. You can bugger off. Attend to the screaming people. And she told me that I was the problem. Women can't live with them, can't kill them. <laughs> hey, hey, why is the space between a woman's breast and her hips called a waist? Um, <laughs> because you could easily fit another pair of tits in there. <laughs> <laughs> a good one, Sam. A good one. Hey, I got one. What do you get when you put a menstruating maid into a senator's mansion? What? what? A bloodbath. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You're sick. I'm not sure what this game is even about anymore. This certainly isn't what Lucius 1 was about, I'll tell you that much. And only one of them had a key? Alright. I still need donuts. I need donuts. Anyone have donuts? Oh, hello. 
go. Now how do I count? How do I cancel out? How, 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 how do, how do I, oh it's Q. Alright, well, have, I can't pick, okay, well, Okay, I got mana back for using the toilet. Okay, I'll, t I'll take it, I guess. So I talk to the man now, and we'd be like, yo, dude, what's up? The end is not coming. It's already here, kid. So what's a love blow? What is a Ludlow? <laughs> Strange man can't repeat. Devil boy? Ludlow. 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 Devil boy. Devil boy. <laughs> Devil boy? Ludlow. Okay. Devil boy. Mind control is always good. The end is not coming. It's already here, boy. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna leave. Devil boy. We're just gonna go have a word with the nun and be like, Hey, Gail. I know I tried to kill you that one time, but what's up? What, what is... Oh, it just calms him down. All right. For now, at least. I assume when I get higher levels, that'll be more important. Two, six, seven, nine. I think that's what this guy had that I couldn't get. Yeah, two, six, seven, nine. How do I kill you? I need donuts, but where do I get donuts from? Never mind what that was, so uh, just go about your business. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> now let's try this one more time. Put that away. Let's bring out the wallet. Now you're in trouble, sir. No, I'm not. There you go. You're like a wallet, right? Yeah. Or not? What in the world? I'm gonna be over here. You go get the wallet. There we go. A little sad, I never got to see that, but it's all good. It is all good in Dying Hood. She was not there. It seems she'd been 
Take it before you fool. Probably need to check up after the boys attack. Find your follower. Okay, I can do that. Also. Uh Don't know what leveling up more does. Like what do the extra ranks do? It doesn't seem to be any designation. Oh. Well. You right there, buddy? You guys okay? Yeah, that's it. You guys just keep doing you. From inside the room, drag the cart and shoot. You can use tools to break items. Oh, are you going... Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh god, this is this is a thing you want me to do, isn't it? Oh god, yes. I'm just gonna No. Come on. No, too far. Line it up. Oh, okay. I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. That's a good one. That is a good one. I'll take it. Give me your keys. Hello. Now, in a psychiatric ward like this, you would not allow a patient to have rope. And that seems, that seems specifically designed. Forgive me, for I have chosen wrong. What did it mean? Chosen the wrong God? Or the wrong son? That looks specifically designed! Like, this is just that. This is just poor management on the goddamn hospital's part. May as well. Get your suit. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna suit up. But all of this is just stupid. Now I'm gonna feel like an arsehole, but can I kill these guys? Can I kill these guys too and just get more X-Pizzle? Oh god, that took his head off. Oh Jesus, I can kill everyone here. I can kill literally every single person here if I want to. Oh my god. That, that's oddly vindicating. Oh, I don't, I don't like this power you've given me. I don't want this power you've given me, Satan. Oh, God, I could kill them all. Okay, undo. There we go. I have a ball now. Oh, yeah. Suit up. Yeah. The straight jacket he had on with all the blood on it would attract way too much attention. Luckily, his old suit was still there. The time had come once again to put it on. Now nah, I'll leave that one. I'll leave that one, dude. I don't know what that means, but I assume that's a good rank. I'll take it. Body counts. I can, I can kill everyone in this game. Oh, that's going to be delightful.